work pretty good for that. First things first, both of these pulled apart right here. These are called MAGA grip gloves, They're magnetic gloves. Both of them busted out. I have pretty large hands. Maybe these were made for women. I don't know. Some women have large hands. They go on my hands pretty good. <clears throat> but the fingertips are rather long for me. I don't have long fingers. But then when it comes to my wrist, it'll only button up about that much. So they already busted out right there and right there, which is, I guess, be all right. Now, I bought these to work on jet skis out over the water bought this mag pad which I am very pleased with it uh, it rides right there all the time 24 7 it catch screws or pick screws up out of the grass that I can't find uh, it does great these, these gloves you can fail them grab just a little bit whenever you touch a metal stuff but like The finger, uh, it should have more. I mean, look, I mean, it won't even hold that screwdriver like that. A wrench. It'll hold it a little bit. That's a 17 millimeter snap on wrench. It'll hold it just a little bit. But I mean, they're so cumbersome and the magnets are weak, but really, I didn't really buy it to hold on to the wrenches. Yes, I did. Yes, I did because I have, this is my favorite ratchet. It's a snap-on floppy head. And if I drop that in 30 foot of water, or 15 foot of water, or even five foot of water. It's gonna be hard as hell to find, especially during the winter time, you know? And look. Those should stick. Those things should stick. You know? They don't have a lot of grip to them. They're kind of slick. So it might seem kind of slick. And then whenever you get to the old man, hell, might as well just throw it down. You know, it should stick. It should be there. It should be like, you gotta peel it off, you know? In my books, okay? But I bought this to hold on the screws. Looks like it's doing a pretty good job. Or not. Holding that pretty good. Now, where? Oh, there it is. Oh, my damn tire to pop. All right, but I'm reaching down there. I won't pull it out of that grass. It won't pull it. It won't even stick to it. There, finally it did. It should be a pain in the ass to get it loose. Is what I'm saying. So you guys out there designing this stuff, you need to think about it. You need to run your magnets further down on the fingers because not everybody's fingers go out to the end of the, of the, of the, of the glove. Okay, another thing. Whenever 
That right there should be strong enough that it'll hold. You should go take a one inch wrench and it should be stuck on there. It should be stuck on there. And these thumb and fingers, it should meet right there like that. Okay, my fingers ain't as, as long as other people's. I got a little short, fat fingers. Don't know these fingertips fit my, my hands. I'm not complaining about that. I guess, yes, I am. But I could take it, squinch them up on there. You know? But I bought these for working up inside jet skis. Spark plugs, wrenches, et cetera, et cetera. You know, most of the nuts and bolts on jet ski is stainless steel. They're not gonna stick to a magnet, no way. But my wrenches do, okay? You know, once I get that wrench in my hand, and I'm eight, 10 feet above the water, uh, I wanna have to peel this, this glove off my hand all right now you want to improve upon this that's great Do so. so i would say that to make this really right if i was gonna make it for myself being that i got two gloves i'm right-handed so most of my handling bolts and nuts wrenches is going to be with my right hand okay so you want to make the right handed glove with a heavy heavy magnet one that'll hold that wrench I don't want to be dropping my wrench not down in the water if I'm working up in the air I don't want to drop my wrench because then I got to climb down the ladder and go pick it up but that ain't the point. The point is I bought these gloves because I'm working out over the top of water in a jet ski or a boat, and I don't need to drop my $150 ratchet in the water, whether it's an inch deep or it's 20 foot deep. I ain't getting it back. Not without a heavy magnet and some luck. Um, so at that point right there, okay, you got one with a heavy magnet. You got one glove without any magnets. That way, <laughs> when this glove right here is stuck to your wrench, you pull this one loose, it ain't stuck to your wrench, okay? All right, you stuck, but you grab it with your left hand, it ain't stuck before you lay it down okay and it'll release all right so i'm gonna take this opportunity i'm gonna clean out my toolbox and guys that's my review on these um maga grip gloves um they've only been used a couple times once or twice first time i put it on it tore out and uh it didn't work the way i thought they should when I first got them, so uh, that's that. And uh, ordered them off of eBay. I don't remember what company I ordered them from, but anyway, I mean they're not gonna give me my money back. It was like thirty-five bucks. Uh, in my opinion, this is a ten or fifteen dollar pair of gloves at the most. At the most.